Sorry, YouTube, I just had to go to the bathroom, okay? You didn't, you didn't miss anything. Top grossing movies per sport. We got four seconds. I don't know if it's enough time to get me over here. Oh, hello. So, uh, football. The Blind Side. Waterboy. Uh, longest Yard. Remember the Titans any given Sunday. Sunday. Basketball. Space Jam. White Men Can't Jump. Coach Carter. Like Mike. I couldn't tell you the other one. Josh Lucas. I feel like that's the guy from The Good Wife. Hockey. You got Miracle. The Tooth Fairy. Mighty Ducks 1. <clears throat> the Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks 2. The Love Guru. In baseball, you've got a league of their own. 42. You've got Field of Dreams. I should know the Dennis Quaid one. Is it the natural? I should know it. Soccer. Kicking and screaming. She's the man. Bend it like Beckham. I don't know the others. Golf, you got Tin Cup. You got Caddy Shack. Bagger Vance. <clears throat> the legend of Bagger Vance. Shia LaBeouf golf movie. Could not tell you. Boxing, you got probably Rocky 2. 3. You got Rocky 4. You've got Million Dollar Baby. And you've got The Fighter. Olympics, you've got Blades of Glory. You've got Cool Runnings. And I'm assuming Chariots of Fire maybe is in there. And I don't know the other one, to be honest with you. I don't know. I couldn't tell you the other one. I thought we did pretty well, though. Cool Runnings, how did you know? Because I was born in the 80s. This one, I feel like I should be able to get this one. Oh, never mind. Glory Road. The rookie, not the natural. The big green that makes perfect sense. Everything else I don't feel too bad about. I feel like we did a pretty good job there. Click those celebrities who were born in the United States of America. Oh, my God. Um... <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, Miley Cyrus, Nicki, Nicki Minaj, Julianne Moore, Jessica Chastain. I'm going to say Usher. I'm going to say Natalie, Natalie Portman, not born in the USA. I'm going to say John Legend and Alicia Keys. I'm going to say Jennifer Hudson. I'm going to say Meryl Streep. I'm going to say Taylor Swift. I'm going to say Lady Gaga. I'm going to say Mariah Carey. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Harry Connick Jr., I'm going to say Joan. Oh, she's Canadian, isn't she? Vince Vaughn. I'm going to say Dave, Dave Matthews. No, I'm going to say. They gave up. I won. I won. I feel like I did horribly. Hold on. Let's puzzle these last ones out. There's one guest remaining. One of these people was born in America. It could be Harry Houdini. It could be Tommy Hilfiger. I think that's it. I'm going to say it's Harry Houdini. It was not. <laughs> it was Tommy. It was Tommy. Still pretty good. So, hey, James Cameron is Canadian-American. Jim Carrey, Canadian. Neil Young, Canadian-American. Michael Sarah, Michael J. Fox, Drake, Canadian. Hayden Christensen, Canadian. Pamela Anderson, Canadian. I honestly thought Harry Houdini was like a stage name. Can you name the missing words from these 90s cartoons? That's Stimpy. Okay. Codename Kids Next Door. Invader Zim. Cowardly Dog. Cow and Chicken. Dexter's Laboratory. Johnny Bravo. Start Clone Wars. Brain. No, no. Avatar. Possible. Fairly. Imaginary. We won. Okay. Like this is, this is a typing test. I just beat you in a Nickelodeon typing test. Get owned. I don't even watch this shit. I'm watching Ken Burns documentaries. 
a Powerpuff Girls. I probably could have gotten that one, to be honest with you, but I'll take my dub. I only knew Pamela Anderson was Canadian because of the show. Dude, she, uh, she got discovered at a BC Lions game. I don't understand the theme of this quiz. Let's send it. NFL team. Jacksonville Jaguars. I love rock and roll. Joan Jett. Giant Ape. King Kong. Miracle on 34th Street. Chris Kringle. Joe Jackson album. Don't know. Space Cartoon. Judy Jetson. State Capital. Indianapolis. Hedge Fund. Institutional Investor. Calisthenic. Jumping Jack. Tarzan Rival. Actually don't know. Donuts. Krispy Kreme. Wardrobe Malfunction. Janet Jackson. Newsprint. India Inc. Harrier Jump Jet. Biographies. Don't know. Black Sox Scandal. Joe Jackson. Small Claims Court. Judge Judy. Mossad. Israeli Intelligence. It says Jump and Jive. I'm going to say his Jungle Gym. I'm going to say his Biographies. 18 out of 20. Tarzan has a rival named Jungle Jim. It's not Moss Ad, it's Mossad. Okay, well, luckily, I've never found it uh, important in my normal life for me to actually know that. So, can you pick five famous movies first released in the given year? 2010, oh my God. Social Network, Toy Story 3, Black Swan, I'm going to skip some for a second, 2005, let me get a Brokeback Mountain, let me get a V for Vendetta, let me get a Batman Begins, let me get a, mm, I don't, I'm, let me get a 40 year old virgin, okay, 2000, Almost Famous, Let Me Get a Crouching Tiger, Let Me Get um, Meet the Parents, Let Me Get um, X-Men, 95, Let Me Get Apollo 13, Let Me Get the, ooh, that hurts, let me, get a, let me Get a Heat, please, Let Me Get a Seven, Let Me Go Back to 2010 and Let Me Get an Inception, 1990. Let me go 95 Braveheart. Let me go 1990. I'll take a Goodfellas. I'll take a Home Alone. I'll take a Pretty Woman. I'll take a um, Leaving Las Vegas. Oh, I'll take a Ghost for sure. 1985. I'll take an Out of Africa. I'll take a Dog Day After. Oh, that. I'll take a Blues Brother. Oh, take an airplane. Those are 19, 1980s airplane. Okay. 1980. Don't go so fast. Raging Bull. Pass me a couple. Take me back to 1990. No, we, we lost it. 1970. Where am I? 19, okay, take me back to 1980. <laughs> 1980. Let me get... Uh, let me, take me to 75. Let me get five easy... Take me to 1965. Let me get help. Take me to 1980. Let me get the Goonies. Holy cow. Dog Day Afternoon is 75. 1970. Let me get Thunderball. Let me get five easy pieces. 65. Let me get Dr. Zhivago. Six, 1965. Okay, take me back to 70. Let me get Cuckoo's Nest. Take me to 75. <laughs> 2005 is Capote. Okay. 1970, let me get a, I clicked Thunderball yet again. Let me get the 1965 Aristocats. Let me get 1965 Patton. Oh, we won. Okay, I was stressing out. I didn't realize we were crushing it. We actually did a pretty good job. We made a lot of mistakes, but still managed to get there. Can you name the largest and smallest countries for each inhabited continent? Ah, uh, Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Chad, no, smallest, Lesotho, oh no, North America, Canada, America, sorry, USA, Mexico, and then a bunch of islands, we got Brazil, we got Argentina, we've got Chile, I mean Peru, 
Um, and then you got Guyana, who's definitely one of the smallest. Oceania, Solomon Islands. Okay, Europe's biggest countries. You got Germany. We got, we got Finland. You got Spain. You got Norway. You got Sweden. It's eight to eight. Asia. China. India. Smallest country, Singapore. Brunei. Just, just joking. Bangladesh? You got to get smaller than that. Mal no, Malaysia's freaking huge. Largest country in Africa, South Africa. What? Smallest country in Africa, Botswana. Senegal. Come on, don't be a fool. It's 11 to 8. I'm getting my butt kicked, man. Think about Asia, okay? Asia has the UAE. Asia has Bahrain. Let's go. Um, Europe, though. Europe should be so much easier. I think they've got a Luxembourg. I think they're missing a Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein? No, come on, dude. You know there's a... Is Malta smaller than Liechtenstein? Liechtenstein? <laughs> Russia. Kazakh. Stan is huge. No, not that big. Poland is big. Ukraine is big. What the hell is Europe's second largest country? It's the United Kingdom? I don't think so. It's 12 9. And what's the biggest country in Africa? I don't think it's Egypt, but I guessed it. Is it Mali? Okay, guess some Caribbean islands. Cuba, not the smallest. Barbuda. Antigua. Dominica in Republic, Haiti, um, the Bahamas, <sighs> Fiji. <laughs> oh my God, dude, they're, ki they're killing me here. They're killing me. They've, they've made up the difference. Algeria, we literally just learned that. Smallest country, Uganda. In Africa, I'm thinking about Africa right now. I'm thinking about Africa. I should be thinking about Europe. I feel like I just spelled Liechtenstein wrong. This dude just came out of nowhere with Mauritius. I'm, we got to get Europe. France. It's not Germany. Bulgaria. No, 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 Turkey, maybe? Yeah, they counted it. Okay, we're tied. Second largest country in Europe. It's not big. It's not a big country. It's not Spain. It's not France. It's not the United Kingdom. It's not, it's Denmark because of Greenland. San Marino is also the other small one. Oh my God, we're up by one. Okay, with, a with one minute and 10 seconds left. Smallest countries in North America. What about Costa Rica? What about Guatemala? What about Nicaragua? What about Belize? What about, it's gotta be the islands, man. Anguilla, I don't even know if that's a real, I learned that from Chib's Lifeline stream last night. Vanuatu for Oceania. Vanuatu. Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, Easter Island, Christmas Island, the Marshall Islands, American Samoa, Samoa, it's 1515, they got Marshall Islands, dude, how about St. Kitts and Bart's, maybe minus Bart's, what about Trinidad and Tobago, with 18 seconds left, what about St. Kitts and Nevis? Did I not type that in? You typed in Bart's. Oh my God. Well, what's, what the hell is, is there a St. Bart's or something? I'm not saying they Googled. They, like, we came up with some miracle answers, too. Can you pick the things ending in OL for each clue? Spanish, Espanol. 
symbol. Cytosol? Cholesterol. Lowest point of a ridge. <laughs> Handgun, whose chamber is integral with the barrel. No idea. Medicine to treat digestive pain. Pepto-Bismol? Remote control? Instrument. Similar to a cello? Don't know. Bitter criticism? Vitriol. Carrying out some action? Procedure? In Interpol? Genghis Khan was from Mongolia? A song is a carol? A Google? Capital? English seaport? Bristol? Suspension of fine... Okay, fifth note of the soul fedge? Soul? Global Network of Police Forces, Interpol. Praise enthusiastically, extol. Abode of the dead in early Hebrew thought. Pshol, steroid hormone, cortisol. I don't know. Viol, carrying out some action. Protocol, coal. Okay, we get there. Thanks for the Isaac, the, the free guest. Thanks to the Isaac answer. I really appreciate that. Help me out a great deal. Can you pick five battles in each of these wars? Maybe. World War I. Verdun? Let me get a World War II real quick. U.S. Civil War. Okay, I know I can do this. I just need, oh, wait, hold on, take me back to World War I. Let me get a little Passchendaele. U.S. Civil War. Let me get a Gettysburg. Let me get an Antietam. They're going to World War II. I got to be there. Vietnam, Tet Offensive, Juan Locke. I'm a, okay, you click that ahead of me. Move me on. Hundred Years' War, Agincourt, Crecy, Orléans, World War II. I'm going to take a Guadalcanal. Napoleonic Wars, you got Trafalgar, you got Waterloo. Let me take me back to World War II. You got the Battle of Britain. Take me back to World War I. Take me back to World War I. Take me back to World War Take me back to World War I. You got Ypres. And you got um No, oh, they're going so fast, man. Take me back to World War II. You got El, El, El Alamin. Napoleonic Wars. Hey, take me back to World War I. You got the Somme. Okay. 100 years of World War II. Napoleonic Wars. No, no, no. Take me out of there. Ancient Roman Wars. The Battle of Cannae. The Battle of Carthage. Battle of Actium. Take me back to the Vietnam War. This is a tough one. It's the Battle of Saigon. Take me back to World War II. Take me back to World War II. I went the wrong way. World War II. Let me get the Battle of Midway. Okay, keep, keep them running. Ancient Roman Wars. I'm not comfortable. Battle of Zama. Uh, apart from that, I'm not comfortable. 30 Years War. You know you got a... <laughs> you know you got a... Um, you got a Leipzig in there and a Lutzen. Ancient Greek Wars. English Civil War. I mean, it's got to be the Battle of Watling Street. Battle of Marston Moor? What? What's the score? 22 to 13. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, I thought it was way worse. U.S. Civil War? Battle of Shiloh. I mean, it sounds like Hamburger Hill, but I also feel like hamburgers weren't invented when the U.S. Civil War took place. Hundred Years' War. England against France. There's got to be a Poitiers. Perhaps a Castillon. Napoleonic Wars. France against all of Europe. Let me get a Battle of Jutland. Okay. Ancient Roman Wars. There, we're missing one here, and that doesn't make sense to me. And that's okay. I'll move on. Thirty Years' War. This is like Germany... Or Prussia against France again. 
Can I get a Nordlingen here? Have you resigned? They resigned. Okay, I give up to not be embarrassed any further. I thought we did okay. As a, as a North American, I thought we did okay there. We probably missed some obvious ones. Guagamala was one of the ancient Roman wars. I, I, I literally just, I couldn't figure it out. Hamburger Hill? V Hamburger Hill's Vietnam. It sounds like it's Vietnam, World War I, and World War II put together. But that's probably ignorant. It's a famous movie? Yeah, if you're like 87 years old. Can you pick the rivers located in South America? No? Uh, the Amazon? I'm going to say anything with Rio in it. I'm going to say the Aconcagua. No? Okay, they clicked it a little earlier. There's six guesses remaining. I'm going to say the Mole. I'm going to say the Pueblo. I'm going to say the Ebro. Okay, well, we lost. <laughs> Fair enough. We did not get the Valdivia. That's just, a, I'm, not, I'm not big in the rivers to begin with. Four letter words in this word ladder. This is more my speed. Lightly, to, oh, oh, a bucket for lunch or milk. Used money to buy something. Paid. Oh my God, they're too fast. You peel a banana. What you may do, a slip on a banana peel. A total failure. Flop. Flip. Poop, poop, Russian weight. A small body of water. Pond. Pong. Ping. Ah! Pomp. <laughs> we lost, we lost badly. Pood. Okay, honestly, you just you you straight up just crushed my ass. Fair enough. We got bodied on that one. I have nothing to say. Can you type these progressively harder Google related words? What? I'm gonna type okay, I'm gonna type URL, I'm gonna type red, app, NASA, maps, play, docs, blue, news, books, Gmail, voice. Pixel, Nexus, Earth, Green, Glass, Drive, Chrome, Sheets, Search, Google, Wallet, Photos, Yellow, Blogger, Domains, Finance, Android, YouTube, Business, Calendar. I'm in the damn groove, man. Hangouts, Web Store. Who's Googling Web Store? What does that even mean? Search engine. I'm feeling lucky. Okay, good good quiz, good quiz, good quiz. Quick little good quiz, quick little good quiz, quick little 98% good quiz. Quick little 98% to 2%. I will say once you, uh, once you lose one, you're halfway through typing the word when it tells you you can't get the next one. And then you start, you have to, you have to like, your brain has to recognize that you lost that one and start the next one when your opponent is already halfway through the next one. I think that's a very momentum driven game. Which of the three options answers the given question? Dear Abby, was Abigail, never mind. Doctor, uh, Superman's alter ego, Clark Kent, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, David Cameron, Eddie Rickenbacker. Francis Ford Coppola, we gotta go faster. Graham Chapman. I don't know. God bless America, I don't know. Father of Communism, Karl Marx. Friends co-star, Matthew Perry. Angel in the Morning. Oh, Juice Newton. Lord Protector of, uh, is Oliver Cromwell. Goodbye Girl, never heard of any of them. Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Beckett. Nicole Kim and Keith Urban. Dutch painter, Van Gogh. James T. Kirk, William Shadner, Cabbage Patch Kids, no idea. Lily Munster, no idea. High School Musical, Zac Efron, Airport, Helen Mirren. 
God Bless America, Irving Berlin. Lily Munster, Yvonne Craig. Ah, oh, oh, how do we... Ten, we won. We won 10 to 12. Oh, but they got four answers remaining, dude. Do they? No, we still won. Okay. Munster sweep. Dude, I, I can't believe how people, they reacted so badly to my tweet that the mo I said that it's going to make the Munster movie at the box office. Uh-oh. Influential women against someone with a 2200 ELO. Mary Curie. Mary Curie. German Benedictine Abbess, founder of scientific history in Germany. American suffragist, Susan B. Anthony. American abolitionist, uh, Harriet Tubman. Rosa, uh, Harriet Tubman? Harriet, 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 okay. That's Malala. Amer Billy, uh, it's too much. I can't, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't. I can't. German Benedictine, that's Hildegard. Oh, I, had to, I had to take some guesses. We just got our ass kicked. <laughs> we lost 7 to 12. But I, I, I got rolled. I mean, I, you know what? I'm not even going to say anything in my own defense. I got rolled. Can you pick the A European soccer teams from their logo? Uh-oh. Time to get some hate in chat. Atalanta. No. Nope. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay, now we got problems. Do I know any of these? I've heard of Ajax. I know how to pronounce it. Maybe our opponent knows nothing about... So Hold on. Ajax is in Amsterdam. Look at that, okay? Aberdeen. Context clues. Context clues. Context... Uh, you're Spanish. You're German, maybe? Football club? Are you Arhus? AIK football. I should know this one, man. You're also a German logo, I think. Like, aren't you... No, am I thinking of Real Madrid? Alborg? Anorthosis Famagusta? Sarkozia. Krakosia. I feel like you're you. Nope. Atalanta. I should know. I should know Atalanta. Nope. Austria, Wien. Okay. Athletic Bilbao. Okay. Aberdeen. Auxierre. Atletico uh, Famagusta. You won. I won. I won. I won. I'll take it. I'm out of here. 50 flicks to click. Can you pick the missing words from these movies from 1989? That's Field of Dreams. Born on the 4th of July. Drugstore Cowboy. Last Crusade. Kiki's Delivery Service. Look Who's Talking. Little Monsters. Fabulous Baker Boys. Dead Poets Society. Christmas Vacation. My left foot. Who's Harry? Final Frontier. Monster House? No. Next of Kin? Nope. Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Harlem Shake. Harlem Nights? Harlem Nights. Tango and Cash. The Little Mermaid. Sea of Thieves. Music? License to Kill? Don't know. Don't know. Weekend at Bernie's. She, Shirley. Steel Magnolia. Can I get a Steel Magnolias? Her lover? Her lover? Don't know. Major Pain? <laughs> Major League? The Mighty Ducks? The Mighty Wind? Steel Magnolias? Love of War? Ca casualties of War? Fat Man and Little Boy. Henry V. Who's Harry Crumb? Roadhouse. Pink Cadillac. Sea of, I feel like it might be Sea of Love. Music Box. Miss Firecracker. 
Dead Calm, She Devil, Black Rain, The Mighty Quinn, Sea of Love. Once we get into context clues, I feel great. It's only when you got 50 words on the board that you got to take 10 seconds per answer. Below average? Am I, am I just being baited over and over with this below average stuff? Can you click the flags that start with an E? Uh-oh. Equatorial Guinea. Egypt. <laughs> Equatorial Guinea. Eritrea. Ethiopia, El Salvador. You tied! You tied! <laughs> Let's go! Born in 1950. Uh-oh. Can you name the person who was born in 1950? U.S. swimmer who won seven golds, Mark Spitz. Sledgehammer, Peter Gabriel. 16 Candles, John Hughes. Cher, no. Um, Streep, Meryl Streep, no. No, Goldie Hawn, no. Dr. J, that's Julius Irving. Texas Governor. Cruz, no, 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 no. Front man of the news. Virgin Records founder, Richard Branson. Uncle Buck star, John Candy. I see Bill Murray. They got it. Former Today Show host, frontman of the news, Huey Lewis, Don't Worry Be Happy singer, Bobby McFerrin, Bobby Farron, Bobby McFerrin, Farron, McBadol, former manager of the Boston Red Sox, Theo something, no, Terry something, I can picture him. Francona? Oh, that would have been sick, man. Moonlighting. That's not Cher. She wasn't born in 1950. Basis Leather Tuscadero on Happy Days. Hagrid Portrayer. Isn't that... He's named Cook. No, he's named... Robbie Burns. Robbie Burns. William H. Macy, I didn't even read that one. Texas, I should know the Texas governor. I should know the Texas governor. I'm embarrassed. How'd you get Jane Pauley, former Today Show host? I give up. It is Rick Perry, you're absolutely right. Sybil Shepard. Robbie Burns is Robbie Coltrane. I'm not necessarily suggesting they're Googling. I'm just saying out of nowhere to be like, oh yeah, I know who the former Today Show host and current Gary Trudeau spouse is. I didn't think that I know of it, then I racked my brain for a couple of seconds and all of a sudden I'm like, oh yeah, Jane Polly. Okay, things that happened on September 21st. Benedict Arnold. Sorry, I can't read it. Okay. Chilean. Lucha Libre. Spain. You tied. Okay, I'll take it. I can't read them. Just reading them out loud puts me at a disadvantage versus my opponent. Can you name the words related to light? There's a lot of them. A blaze. <laughs> Heat. Um, bright. Brilliance. Candela. Halo. Illuminate. Gleam. Glimmer. Glint. Glisten. Glitter, fluorescent, glance, glare, incandescence, 
incandescent, iridescence, light, lightning, lumen. I'm going down the, the dang middle now. I'm trying to mess with them. I see that we got luster. I see we got luminiferous. Sunbeam. I'm trying to take their words. Twilight, twinkle. I'm trying to starve them. Shimmer, shiny. Solar. Sporkle. <laughs> it was on there? Maybe not. Maybe I backspaced it. Sheen. Scintillate. Refraction. You trying to take my words? Flash. Opalescence. Phosphorescent. Radiant. Ray. Corona. Dazzling. Effluence. Really? F no, it's F your lens. F Lewis? Focula? <laughs> Starting to run out of oh, oh, we already got past half. Okay. I'm like, what am I missing here? What am I missing? They've given up? Okay, you give up, I give up. We could have gotten moonlit and sparkle. Oh, sparkle was a joke answer. Effulgence, diffraction, diffusion, dispersion, beam, beacon, aurora, afterglow. Okay. I'm not that disappointed, honestly. I mean, I, I think we performed pretty well. We were, we were owning because we were just stealing whatever word they were going for. Okay, movies that have been cut off at the letter N. Okay. Rouge. Da. Nenbaums. Redemption. Fink. Uh, Fidential. It's a weird typing test. I can't talk. What? I got one by accident. Um, you got it! I'm insane. I'm insane. We got 19 out of 30. I don't know the other ones, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't know the other ones. I give up. The Remains of the Day, Mad Dog and Glory. How Green Was My Valley, we had that earlier. Melvin and Howard. Bad quiz? What, did you just lose to me? I thought it was an amazing quiz. Bad Celebrity Waxworks. Holy cow. I was built for this? That's Justin Timberlake. That's Prince? No, okay, Michael Jackson. It is horrible. Princess Diana. It's Barack Obama. Oh my God, it's John Travolta. It's Jennifer Lopez. It's Adolf Hitler. Okay, yeah. Is that Bob Odenkirk? I actually have no idea. Clint Eastwood, maybe? Okay. That's Elden John. Holy cow. I maybe it's Tim Curry. Is it Freddie Mercury? I I actually have no idea who that is. Holy cow. That's Drew Barrymore. Oh my god, what's wrong with her hands? I could not tell you, honestly. Is that Eminem? Is horrible. That's Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Is that Alan Rickman? 
I have no idea, man. Okay, that's Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> that's Jim Carrey. That's not Jim Carrey? Is that Ted Danson? I actually have no idea. Okay, that's Simon Cowell. That might just be a photo, though. He kind of looks like Wes Borland. I couldn't tell you. Is that Evangeline Lilly? That's my only guess there. I don't know, man. This one's throwing me. I can't even hazard a guess as to who you might be. Like, I, I'm, I'm racking my brain. That's Justin Timberlake, too? Oh, you know what? Someone said David Beckham. I bet that could be David Beckham. I actually have no idea for this one. People said Tom Hanks. <laughs> I guess I see it, but uh, not really. Hold on. We won 13 to 2 already. That's Tom Hanks. I think, oh, you know what? This is Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it's obviously horrible. This is actually Ted Danson and Jim Carrey face morph together. I don't know who this is. And I think you're right. I think that's Fernando Alonso. Like, this is... This is the worst that has ever been made, for sure. Yeah, that's Fernando Alonso. Yep, that, that's a horrible David Beckham. That, I, I don't even understand this one. Is there a movie where he looked like this? Or did they just mess up, like, one of his eyes? That's from Castaway? Yeah, but he's got like two eyes that point the same direction in Castaway. Post Wilson, not clarity. Oh, man. Oh. Yep. That is horrendous, man. Holy cow. And then Lindsay Lohan? Like, not at all. Not at all. Oh, and then the one, there was ones I didn't get to do. Yeah. Okay, I would have gotten that one. That is absolutely horrible, for sure. But I would have gotten that. That's Rafael Nadal. And then... <laughs> oh, man. I think I would have gotten that, but I bet it would have taken me a second. I might have guessed Adam Driver first, honestly. <laughs> but I don't know. It's... This is pretty horrible. And <laughs> Miles Teller. This <laughs> is pretty bad. Oh, man. It looks like the guy from Whiplash. Yeah, it's Miles Teller. It does kind of look like... I can see Miles Teller in that. <laughs> oh, man. John Cusack. I, I can see a little John Cusack in there. Dude, I, got, I know these aren't, uh, we're not against anybody anymore, but there's more in this theme. We got to try to take some of these. Holy cow. Okay, so that's <laughs> Julia Roberts. Oh, man. That's Liza Minnelli. Can I say something controversial? That one, this one doesn't seem that bad. I can never spell her name. There we go. Um, this one seems really bad. I actually have no idea. Um, is there a chance that you're, you're Donald Trump? I don't know who this is. Are you, are you Prince William? Oh, okay, that's, I mean, I'm just going to type Titanic. Okay, that's Leonardo DiCaprio and, and Kate Winslet. That's, that is horrible. <laughs> this is, come on, man. It's Michael Jordan. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. Is that Hugh Jackman from Van Helsing? Oh my God, it is. Okay, that's Richard Nixon in a YouTube thumbnail. That's Robert Pattinson. Oh, okay, that, that's not that bad. It just looks like it need a, needs a repair. Are you Jennifer Garner? Okay. 
That's an absolutely horrendous Adam Sandler. That's Jim Carrey. Also horrible. That's a god-awful Michael Caine. I think that's Serena Williams. That's the Beatles. I gotta say, they didn't do too bad on the Paul. The Ringo and the John and the George are horrible. <laughs> oh, man. And it was this guy, dude. I, actually, I, I have no idea who this could possibly be. This is Dracula, man. Sylvester Stallone? I mean, I guess it's the point of the quiz, but it looks nothing like him. I actually thought it might have been the guy from, from With Nail and I, who was also in that, um, the one good Melissa McCarthy movie um, that I always forget the name of. Yeah, Richard E. Grant. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 